to have a harmonized handling of, uh, of, of uh, uh, the combating terrorism in all our member states, to have common rules for helping victims, uh, because um, a lot of member states never before were facing such a threat, so they had no clear rules how to, have, uh, to make crisis intervention. As rapporteur of a report combating terrorism, the EPP group's Monica Holmeyer notes the common approach taken with other mainstream parties, that terrorism must be fought at an EU level. Yes, it's not possible to do it on a national level uh, because uh, the terrorism is international and uh, there are citizens of different member states, there are people coming from outside, um, they are stemming from Syria, Iraq, from the African continent, partly of, of Russia, Chechnya and so on. The 57-page report reinforces a European Commission-proposed anti-terror law. The legislation aims to prevent so-called foreign fighters, young, mainly Muslim Europeans, from going to conflict zones and then returning to plot attacks back home. The European Commission first proposed it one month after the November 2015 terror attacks in Paris that killed more than 120 people. Other attacks since then have added urgency to the effort to shut down terror networks as well as prevent radicalization and recruitment. This kind of propaganda is punished in future because it, uh, it, they want to attract people, recruit young people and uh, trying to uh, convince them to be part of a terrorist network. European authorities suspect more than 5,000 EU nationals have joined fighting in Syria and Iraq. The legislation or directive calls for greater cooperation among member states to track and arrest those among the so-called lone wolves who pose a threat to security. The report also calls for stronger EU-wide efforts to stop terror financing by following the money, seizing assets and prosecuting those involved. We mentioned this explicitly um, uh, all the goods that are sold, for example, gold, oil, diamonds, and very often you don't know who is behind the seller, who is behind the person that is selling these diamonds or the oil. The report urges EU member states to step up efforts to stop radicalization. One measure, increasing training of police and prison staff in recognizing and preventing it and to prosecute those involved in terrorist training and recruiting, both online, via the dark net, for example, and off, such as in training camps. The new thing is really the terrorist networks. They are mentioned for the first time here in this kind. And the new standards that are set are dealing with preparatory actions, as, for example, training to commit uh, uh, a terrorist attack. The anti-terrorism law also offers support for the victims of terrorism. It sets guidelines for the member states to ensure that the victims receive adequate medical assistance, psychological counseling, as well as legal and financial advice through a one-stop shop online. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.